Hi, it's Kathy, Crafty Chica, and I recently made some beautiful shrines using air dry clay, so I thought I would show you how I did it. Now, when it comes to air dry clay, I've used the Crayola brand in a bucket, the Craft Smart brand in this foil package. Both of them work really nice. The Crayola one is actually a little more affordable, but it's up to you. And then I use cookie cutters to cut out different shapes. Now, if you're going to join two pieces together, you need to score the sides and then roll a little piece and put it in all of the edges to seal it up. I wish I would have shown that process, but I don't know what happened to my footage. Anyways, another way you could do it is just take a piece and form it into a little square or box or a little bowl or dish. And that's what I did here with this piece. I knew I wanted to make a little mini shrine. So I just formed it and smoothed it out. And I took a round piece to use as the base. And I smoothed out all of the edges with water. Okay, let's see how this looks. Yes, I love how that looks. Okay, whenever you join two pieces together, you need to score both sides where they meet. Take a craft knife or an awl and just go in and add some water or even some thinned out clay like slip and put it on both sides and smooth the pieces together so it's completely joined and strong. When it comes to drying your pieces, I like to wrap them loosely in plastic for about, I don't know, five or six hours. And then I'll remove the plastic and let them dry for at least 24 hours, sometimes longer. And then you can sand it with a nail file, painted them all in white, let them dry, and then I exhaled because I'm like, oh my gosh, this took so long. What do I want to do with these? So I tackled them one by one. Each one is its own little masterpiece, so you really have to let it speak to you. This one, I used it as a canvas and I painted a little cactus corazon on the front. Another one, I had a little wooden angel I had purchased when I was in Mexico and I thought it would look beautiful on this shrine. So I used E6000 to glue it to the base and then when I was completely done with all of the decorating, I went over everything with some high gloss varnish. Here they are, what do you think? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you make this, tag me. I would love to see what you create. Make your own mini air dry clay shrines. Thanks guys, bye.